Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And today's viewers question is, could you talk about the official statements or bylaws that were passed in Georgia and Tennessee relating to men joining the fraternity who are homosexuals? Well, to answer this question, I'm going to point back to that video that we did talking about Freemasonic jurisdictions, where in the video about the Prince Halls and the regular Freemasons, where we learned that each Grand Lodge is sovereign and independent of the others. So what is my opinion on whether or not another Grand Lodge is taking official action against, a homo against homosexuals or an official action specifically allowing homosexuals is that I don't have an opinion. That is their jurisdiction and I will worry about how I personally feel and what happens in the state of Mississippi. And as far as what happens in the state of Mississippi, as far as I am concerned, whatever is discussed inside of a closed lodge stays inside of a closed lodge. So whether or not we have discussed it or whether or not what discussion came from it is none of your business. And if that is a problem to you, I am not going to apologize because I think that is something that Freemasonry teaches and I think that if people would understand that better that we could work better with each other. There's something special about Freemasonry in the sense of these the, the secrets everybody's worried about, uh, what the secrets are. You know, I understand it's not a perfect analogy, but there are things that I talk to my wife about that I don't talk to my friends at work about. Uh, there's people, there's things that my wife talks to perhaps her best friend, girlfriend about that she doesn't even tell me about. And I think that those bring out not just a certain level of trust because of your ability to hold fidelity um, but it's just polite <laughs> I don't know if there's another way for me to phrase that and and I think when people take it upon themselves um, to discuss what happened inside of a Grand Lodge meeting and what official bylaws were passed or not um, that, that something's lost now in Mississippi, if a bylaw were changed, then that bylaw is going to be printed in a PDF that can then be downloaded from our website. And so clearly, at that point, nothing is secret anymore. It's an official stance that, you know, one way or another, whatever, whatever it's about, you can't wear blue jeans at Lodge or something to that effect, whatever it might be. And, and then, then we have something to discuss. Um, but... I would again then still bring it back to the fact that it is not my Masonic jurisdiction and it has nothing there's there's no way no way that I can affect anything in the states of Tennessee or Georgia I would I would have to go and become a member at a lodge there and then depending on the voting rights of members in Grand Lodges in those jurisdictions have to obtain the right to vote in those jurisdictions and then have a say and I don't uh, so there's no point in me, in me going any further I apologize uh, in the sense that that doesn't probably answer your question um, but I still think it's the right answer so if you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.